Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 41 Ocean Block. <laughs> That's right, we're back here in our Ocean Block world, and we're gonna go over some of the things I did in between episodes, and we're gonna plan for the future. So let's go see what I did. Um, I've done quite a bit and absolutely nothing. <laughs> it not, not really progressed, but sort of reorganized. Um, I'm in the process of tearing all this up. I rearranged some of our crafters. And I know I forgot to mention it last time, but I did uh, I did set up the Nether Star seeds. I had enough uh, from killing the Wither to make a Nether Star seeds, and now I have like uh, four or five of them out there. Oh, as well as four or five of the draconium producing um, this is the wither skeleton wither skeleton I've planted a couple more of the essence ones just because we didn't really have we still have five empty slots so um, that's our end crop there's four nether stars oh I got quite a bit of draconium that's fine though. We need it. We needs it. Um, speaking of draconium, um, <laughs> I got the recipe to work finally. I, I updated the pack. It's on 150. Um, I rearranged. Let's see. I'll show you how I rearranged it. Um, I got three over here and then two on each side and all of that was in range and it just it just worked <laughs> I was like why couldn't have done that earlier uh, but yeah check this thing out oh my goodness it is so ginormous um, but I'm going to uh, Cut here and show you the clip because it looked pretty cool as it was making, so I started recording. enjoyed that um, <laughs> it was exciting in the moment uh, also another thing I did is uh, a, a part of a quest power I was reading this the player transmitter is used to charge items wirelessly in link player inventory including armor slots and offhand so I made a player transmitter Put it over here and use the binding card uh, the the hardest part of this was you had to get the uh, if you go all the way to the starter one you had to get the player aerial pearl and the only way you do that is you have to use an aerial pearl on a zombie or a husk uh, which wasn't a problem the aerial pearl was was not uh, hard to make. I went over to um, this little dome right here and went under there. Uh, there's still spawners in there and I just waited until a zombie spawned and, and tagged him. 
<laughs> and then I had what I needed, and so I left. Um, still uh, adding things. Uh, I was correct. The limit for the drawer controller is 12, because on this 13th block, uh, it would not... Uh, I was trying to put lapis down there, and it would not see the lapis um, in that block. I even tried adding a slave, and that, would, that didn't help, um, so I don't know. So I put it over here, and moved the nether stuff over there on that wall so everything over here is coming from the sieves and being processed um, <laughs> I've got so much uraninite like 23,000 and it is still growing um, because I have all of this over here still to process 77 stacks, 36 stacks, 23 stacks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, there's so much. Um, and, and it's all being processed here. So I come along every once in a while and boop, 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 speed that up to help process it. I also made this little soul extractor uh, so that I can get uh get the jars a little bit easier uh because i don't know that i would want to go around killing fish uh or finding fish uh i don't know i guess they do spawn uh, i've seen squid spawn but i don't know about fish but i've been uh i just made that and i thought well that would be cool uh to to do that because i also need some other um, some other seeds in that tier. Uh, so I'm hoping the slime seeds uh, will be the same way. Oh, here we go. Yes, soul extraction. I can put slime balls. So that's awesome. Oh, it takes 12. Ouch. That's going to be a lot of slime. That's 24 per jar. That's okay. I'll, I'll work on uh, getting those seeds now. I don't know how I'm going to do turtles. Oh, you got to have scoot. Uh, I don't have scoot. We do have turtle eggs, don't we? Um, I haven't really messed with the turtles um, that much. I think there are turtle eggs in in this mess. Let's go ahead and sleep. I, don't, I can't remember the last time I slept. Um, Yeah, four turtle eggs. So I guess eventually I'll have to get them uh, to see if they can breed or whatever. Anyway, let's get back down there. Um, so yeah, I want to put one more compact machine there because this side has four and that side has five so I need one more I need one more and I only have ten I only have ten of those what Oh, I gotta make all of this stuff. Is that all I need? Oh, I need another one. 
This is a little bit more difficult if I have to make all of those. Uh, four two times pressed, I think. You know what? <laughs> I'm a cheater. Um, okay, so... Four of those. something to put in there. Oh, yeah, this has been going on so much. Uh, this is all filled up with plastic and latex and 117 buckets of latex in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, this is almost out of wood. So that's crazy. It's been going on that long. Um, it looks like we got another quest to turn in. What have we got? Oh, the Draconium chest. The finished off storage. Uh, what did we get? The knowledge concentrator. Um, allows XP to be stored and retrieved. That's for thermal. Oh, let's go ahead and um, pop that guy in there. Let's see what else. Oh, oh yeah, the the player transmitter. Oh, another mob imprisonment tool. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. Uh, I think what I want to try to do is to um, to finish off this. We only need to make like three things: a thermo generator, a solar panel, and an energy discharger. And I think uh, I'll just make starter versions of those. So let's do. Can I do A from here? No, but I can do it there. Uh, this is how you make the soul extractor too, by the way. Uh, solium daggers, solium, and a machine frame. Just like that. Uh, the solium daggers. Um, I think I like the machine much better than having to kill <laughs> my poor little dagger where is it is it's pretty messed up uh, I had to use it on uh, the withers um, in, in here the mob duplicator um, <laughs> I had to break a, a little hole in here so I could uh, hit them and I think I had turned off this fan <laughs> so that that one would just blow them over here so I would, you know, not have to keep fighting them because they were in the middle. Uh, but that worked out well uh, to get the essence. Um, I want to organize this a little bit better and I pulled some more stuff. Uh, 
from the mob farm over here. The rest of it's just from passive uh, mobs. And I don't know that I need to bring that over here. I don't know. Oh, pig lag. There. And I will turn these into the fish seed. Um, what tier? I think that's tier two. Which one of you? No, no. There we go. Ah! Oh! <laughs> right as I went to click it into my inventory, it uh, actually. Let's just take one of those. Then we have that, and then I think you need the Solium Seed Base. Oh no, what did I do? There it is. It's that. And that. Awesome. So we can get uh, another another doohickey done. can knock out those other what was it power oh that's nitro what basic blazing so there's no stuff there's the starter Charger. There we go. And we can take that off and that off. That'll be less junk in the trunk. That's new. Thermal plate. We can make this casing. Generator <laughs> and a solar panel, which is the same. Oops, that uh, we need some more tiny guys. Photoelectric paints. I wonder, do I have three of those? One, two, three. Nice. I thought I hit it there for a second and then it didn't do anything. That's the solar panel. And then this energy. Oh, this one's super easy. And, oh! There. 
<laughs> now we got it. Doi. Nice. Um, now I can just throw these in here. Oops. When that does that. And let's see what our rewards are. A stone mattock. Oh, gosh. A copy paste gadget. A mob masher. It's all basic stuff. So that's cool. We got another uh, section completed. I like it. We might try and work on some of this stuff. I think it's pretty basic. RF tools and it's something that we can knock out pretty easy I bet. Um, but we have done quite a lot <laughs> already. Um, another thing I might do is uh, let's see how many. How's our dracon? Oh, we got 235 draconium ingots. Um, Forty nether stars, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I did get out there with my little time in a jar and uh, just sped them all up. Um, and man, the stuff would just rain out of them. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, I want to use this to upgrade my rare backpack. Let's put this stuff away. Um, so I know, I think I did this in the past where it didn't actually, um, mess anything up by having it by upgrading it because <laughs> I forgot and I upgraded it and and I was like oh I'm glad I didn't lose all my stuff uh, but just in case oh I put the I put the treasure give me my treasure back okay Oh, that's nothing crazy. I think the hard part will be the magenta dye. Oh, I didn't mean that. I meant R, not A. Oh, and I meant U, not R. Goodness. I think we have iron bars. What are we missing? Uh, it's not C in the backpack, but that's okay. Um, we need to make some chest and the magenta dye. So we need red, blue, and pink. Or allium. Or lilac. Or two red, a white, and a blue. I think I can do that. I think we have two red flowers uh, up here. Yeah. And um, actually, let's. Let's place these and we can use, um, we can use the beets. Use the beets. Because those convert to red dye. We just need two of them. Um, do I have any bone meal? Yes, I have bone meal. I can get bone meal from here and blue dye, so I should be able to 
Oh, you gotta convert the bone meal. Uh, I forgot about that. And uh, there's already blue dye in there because um, I needed it for other recipes. Um, Yeah, so there's the magenta dye, the nether star, um, I need to make some chests, um, okay, let's just make a whole stack, <laughs> instant, boom, um, one, two, ah, Got it now? Yeah. And then back, back. Oh, look at that. <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Um, that's crazy. Stop back. Except for that. Now I have tons of room. I need to go through this. Um, and see if I can get rid of things. Ah, got it. Got quite a bit more space. Three more rows. What's it for? Might have been four. Yes! <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for so long. <laughs> but I, I had to be patient until I got more nether stars. Um, there we go. I like it. Um, yeah, I'll work on looking into this stuff uh, for next episode. So. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!